The Mini Metal Maker is, is just that, it's mini. Uh, the build volume for this machine is a cube two and a half inches to a side. So it's not very big, and the trends in a lot of different 3D printers is to make these build volumes bigger and bigger and bigger. Instead, I really focused on having more precision control and uh, having a volume that's pretty well suitable to the material we're using. So uh, precious metal clay is not cost effective for making really big metal objects anyway. You're not gonna print a toaster or a washing machine out of precious metal clay. So focus on small and, and, uh, and high precision is, is what I was going for. Okay, got it. So you were, earlier when we were talking, you were telling me that, um, that the precision movement can actually happen down to five microns. So it's, the movement is, is very precise and, uh, right, and you're trying to get it down to uh, the actual, out of the tip, about 200 microns, right? Is that? That's right, okay. that's right. When you look at the, the movement, uh, when you look at the precision movement, the machine is entirely built with direct drive worm gears. So there really is only one moving part per axis, and that's the motor that kind of creeps itself along a uh, shaft. And it's down to five microns per motor step. We'll never be that precise with the actual extrusion of the clay. Right now, the precision of the clay lines uh, is right around 450 microns, which is very close to the precision from something like a, a MakerBot or a Stratasys uh, FDM. And my goal is to reduce that size to right around 200 microns.